What's going on everybody? Good afternoon. We have a Freightliner Cascadia with the DD15 EPA 10. This is a 2013. We have some fault codes. I'll connect to those in a second and show you what we're doing. But first I want to show you potential cause of what we of what we have. This is the DEF metering unit. That's the old unit. The new one has already been installed. And again, as I mentioned before in my other videos, anytime you see DDE, obviously that's the part number for Detroit. RA means it's a remanufactured, okay? The one that we pulled off, which is this one here, okay? That's gonna be the original one. The new one, when it's reman, you're gonna see the, again, the RA, which is the rebuilt. EA, if I'm not mistaken, is new. The price difference on this is actually quite substantial. This is gonna run you over 400 bucks, maybe 500 bucks. The newer one's gonna be about 600. So it's about a hundred something bucks difference. The diff you know, the choice is up to you. This truck itself has over a million miles. So right now, once we get everything connected, I'm gonna double check everything on one side and we're gonna move on and go from there. And I'll show you the codes that we have in a sec. Okay guys, so we have everything connected on the other side where the one box goes. Right now, I wanna show you the fault codes, okay? Just because we replaced the DEF unit doesn't mean you're gonna have your codes that are cleared. These are the codes that'll pop up right now. Let it, uh... there we go. So. That seems to be the biggest problem, which is gonna be our fault code 436418, okay? Knox efficiency low, but here, let me jump up here. Sorry for the glare, I'm trying to find the right spot. There we go. All right, so check the, take a look at this. Look at what we have. Def dosing valve circuit failed low. Okay, so anytime you start seeing that, that usually means you could have, see look, Def general heater circuit failed low. So that could be an internal failure on these units here, okay? So these each sensor does something different, okay? This is the one that injects the def, this is the air, and again, these all do something different. So if these start to fail, chances are this is gonna be bad. Now I did put another one in there and it appears that it was clogged. So again, part of the troubleshooting. So I'm gonna go do this, hopefully step-by-step step or explain it as much as possible and go from there. Now, again, if you have this code, bear with me guys, sorry about that. If you have this code, you still need to do a regen so you can verify that you do have correct NOx efficiency, okay? Again, just because you replace it or just because you clear the code doesn't mean it's fixed. So that's what we're gonna do right now. There's a few other things I need to check, okay? First thing you need to make sure is that you have enough air. Right now we are only at about 60, 70 PSI. So we're gonna start the engine up and we're gonna run some tests. Okay guys, so right now what I'm gonna do is warm up the truck before I try to do a regen. And again, the reason why I need to do a regen is because I need to see how much or how high the NOx efficiency is. Okay, so take a look again. Also, very important, even though you see the one fault code on there, look at the other ones. Take a look, open them up. There's a couple dates on there. It'll tell you what the most recent one is. Those are also very, very important. Okay, and again, take a look. Def air pressure sensor, def air temp, def dosing valve, def heater. Those are all related to the def metering unit. Those are all sensors that are located on there. Okay, I don't know if they sell them individually, um, but chances of those failing all at the same time is it's pretty rare. So it could just be a bad unit. Uh, I don't think it might be a harness issue, but again, you gotta have to, you're gonna have to look at a few things. Number one, how many miles are on the truck? Is it original? Has anyone ever messed with it before? Those are things that you need to know before you kind of move forward. Pretty simple standard question. So again, right now, I'm gonna let this truck warm up. And right now I'm only at about 125. So I'm gonna let it warm up, get to about as 150 as possible. And then after that, I'm gonna do a regen using the diagnostic link. And again, we're troubleshooting the code here, 4364. You're gonna see other codes that are somewhat associated with that. Okay, number one being the improper death quality. Okay, a lot of times it's gonna think, hey, you've got bad def, and that's what's triggering the code. That could be the problem, or it could just be that you have a bad metering unit, because there is a sensor on there which will read the quality of the def. So again, there's a couple things you're gonna need to, to play around with. Uh, obviously, number one, make sure you have good def, clean def. All right, so let this warm up. We'll start doing a regen, we're gonna start uh, diving in a little bit deeper. All right, so now we are at about 150 degrees. We are going to go ahead and do a regen. Again, regen takes about 30 to 45 minutes. Let's just 
keep it that way. Um, if it's less than 45 minutes, fantastic. But again, 30 to 45 minutes is what you're looking at. Right now, the filters are clean, zone zero. So the DPF isn't the issue. The issue is, again, with the deaf side, which would be your SCR, uh, deaf metering, metering unit, things like that. So here we go. We're going to do a parked regen. And again, that's just so you know exactly how much or how high your NOx efficiency is. All right, so regen is starting. We're going to set our timer. So again, keep an eye on your temperatures, your pressures, things of that nature, and uh, we'll keep you guys posted. Okay guys, so we are about six minutes into the regen, which is not very much. But for now, what I'd like to look at is, again, on the service routines, I kind of go over this over and over. These are things that are, to me, the most important. Uh, our doser, doser fuel, that is working. Doser pressure, that's good. Our temperatures will rise little by little. Again, we're only a few minutes in. Now I'm gonna go to the next screen, which is gonna be up here, your SCR system. Okay, that's gonna be where the dev is gonna start going in and mixing and doing all the fun stuff that it does. So take a look, right now we're only at about 72% NOx efficiency, which is good. It's not great, but it's good. It should climb up to the higher, the better. 100% is the best, 70 is just barely passing. Anything less than that, then you have issues potentially in the box. And again, it's just starting to do its mixture right now, but as you can tell, it's just starting to, it's kind of going back and forth. It's gonna put in some depth, not put in some depth. It's gonna keep doing, doing that for a while. So anyway, we'll go back to it again. We're only six minutes in, so by no means is this successful or is this a failure, okay? Just wanted to show you that again, the temperatures are good. Okay guys, we are back. We are about 14 minutes in, and let's see what we've got going so far. Okay, temperatures are rising. That's always good, that's always a plus. Pressures are good as far as your fuel, your fuel doser goes. DOC inlet, that's not bad at all. 1.08, that's good. Okay, now NOx efficiency, that's again what we're trying to solve. So if we go back to NOx efficiency, we're at 73%. If this truck was already having issues with the NOx efficiency because of the DEF metering unit, okay, chances are the numbers will be low and then they'll start to spike up. Look at that, it went from 70 to 87. That's pretty normal, you will see that. Sometimes you're thinking, oh crap, I got a bad one box. Slow down, let the regen do what it's supposed to do. If it hasn't had def inside, okay, inside the SCR system, it's not burning it up. Um, it might have a little bit of soot going through. It's not supposed to, but it might. Those are things that will bring your numbers down, okay? Let the regen do what it's supposed to do, okay? Just let it do it. Don't do anything. Don't start panicking. Don't start thinking, oh shit, I gotta do a delete. In this case, so far, so good, again. 80%, and again, it's gonna fluctuate, see, 76. Again, since the dev was not going in, or was having issues with that, that will cause the numbers to fluctuate. Look at that, it went from 85 to 61, 66. So again, just let it do its thing. We're only about 15 minutes in. This temperature should rise a little bit more. Let's just, let's just let it do its thing. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek of that. Our coolant temperature is good. I mean, it's only about 70, almost 80 degrees out here in Southern California, so it's not too bad at okay, all. Okay, guys, 19 minutes into a regen. Again, this should be about 30, let's say 45 minutes on the very high side. The only time I've seen it go 45 minutes is typically when the DPFs are very dirty. In this case, they're clean. And again, all we're trying to do is prove that we have good NOx efficiency. So without wasting too much time, there we go, 69%. And again, the numbers have just been jumping. They're 84. See, look, now it's going back to 70. So it's going to continue to do that, 71%. It's probably going to have to burn off whatever's in the filter. It's going to have to do, do a few things, okay? So again, be patient. There's our temps. That's good. And again, I just wanted to show you that so we're not, uh, we're not freaking out entirely. And again, this light should stay on until... NOx efficiency passes at 70% or higher. You okay, guys, back again, 23 minutes into a parked regen, and our code, SCR NOx efficiency low, okay, has now switched from active to confirmed, previously active, permanent. As long as it does that, it will stay there, but it no longer means that we have an issue. Okay, that's a good thing, that's a very good thing. 
that means our NOx efficiency is probably 70% or higher, okay? Although we're not done yet, we're only 20 something minutes into it, I just wanted to show you that. So don't get discouraged, again, let it do the regen, 